Good morning, good morning everybody. Well, looks like it's starting to rain. Yeah, that's what it appears to be doing. And I was just looking on the uh, weather network and uh, it appears that we are supposed to get some snow this afternoon. So I do not like that too much, but hey, at least I'm home for that first little bit of snow that we are supposed to get and it sounds like they're supposed to be hitting it more in the Ontario area than uh, up here but uh, yeah they're talking about snow for this afternoon so let's get these loads unloaded and go home before that happens right that's the plan anyways and hopefully by Saturday the snow has all melted already because it's kind of warm yet you know like even the on the uh, weather network there they were saying that uh, the ground is so warm yet that uh, the snow will probably melt when it hits the ground there might be a little bit of accumulation of snow they're talking about maybe two centimeters but other than that it's not to be uh, a couple of feet of snow you know <laughs> at least that's a good thing but uh, anyways let's go home and uh, or First, we gotta deliver these loads, I suppose, and then uh, let's get ready for winter. Yeah, let's dig in our heels and warm up, cuddle up with the wife. Yeah, so let's get these loads off. Alrighty, guys, we have finished uh, doing our delivery. So, we gotta go to our second delivery. So, we. Uh, got 17 kilometers which is like 16 and a half miles I guess or 16 and a quarter miles no not 16 10 and a quarter miles that's what it is in 200 meters turn left on Abina highway RDE 42 <clears throat> and then we'll go home from there hoping to get out of town out of Winnipeg at least before it starts snowing it's actually pretty chilly out here today in Winnipeg. It is raining. Oh, we got a message. Let's check it out before we get on the road. Well, we checked out the message, what they had to say. And they said uh, that uh, they want me to take the empty trailer to the terminal once I'm done unloading. So I'm assuming that they got a uh, load there from Winnipeg terminal to Steinbach probably for me to bring. So they don't want the empty to come to Steinbach. So that way they get me uh, to bring a loaded over there. But first we gotta go to another place and deliver this load. So Let's make our way down there. I had some uh, plans changed on me. First they told me to take it to the Winnipeg Terminal, the empty, and then uh, as I just finished getting, uh, well, I was unloaded already, and uh, put it in gear, I was up to the first stoplight, and they sent me a message saying, uh, bring it to this this that company or whatever you know which was only like three miles away from where it was at so we went and delivered it over there and uh, parked it in there and then they told me I could go home from there so here we are on our way back to Steinbach yeah you know, about 45 minutes before we'll be in Steinbach because it was on a uh, on the east side of uh, Winnipeg that I did my delivery so and then I dropped my trailer so it's only like 60 kilometers to go home so that's about 45 minutes yeah so we'll be home early probably be home earlier than I expected probably be home by 11 30 or so that's right so Let's put the hammer down and uh, hope for the best so we don't get ice rain by the time we get home. Well guys, I've been home now for a while 
and I am in my garage for a reason but before I get to why I'm here I wanted to tell you that I uh, came back and I had actually uh, contacted my mechanic there my shop there to do a grease job on the truck and I had already uh, ordered something from him previously so he did have it in stock but I went and got me a grease job done and uh, it was still raining and all that stuff and uh, they were talking about getting some snow this afternoon but it didn't happen but uh, the reason why we are in the garage is look at that we got some spanking new rims got two of them yep that is the uh, brand name for this uh, rim yep and they are uh, steering tire rims or steer rims i got even a nice stainless steel uh, cap on here as well that's nice well they're supposed to have a uh, protected coating on there from protecting it from uh the uh environment or whatever you want to call it from all the salt they're supposed to stay nice and shiny i don't know if that's going to be the case or not i guess only time will tell and uh, i didn't really have the money to put the tires on it right away and get it all changed so uh, i just figured you know what let's do it this paycheck maybe i'll i bought the uh, bought the rims and then also i have balancers let me maybe go outside and I'll show you show you a little bit what I'm talking about I know it's still oh actually it turned into snow I guess they are right about snow look at that it's actually snowing anyways if you look right in here those are balancer those rings in behind the rims yeah so uh, yeah we uh, are actually thinking about uh, replacing those balancers as well so that way uh, my uh, front steering will be a little bit more balanced and uh, I'm thinking about doing that maybe next paycheck and hopefully I make enough money on the next paycheck so I can replace those uh, steering tires as well I mean we have had really nice trips here the last you know the last two weeks we've been working really hard so i think by next paycheck we can probably afford to uh, get new steering tires on it and then you will see these nice shiny rims on there what i also did with the snow blower there's actually a plate right underneath there i don't know if you can see it but there is a black plate right underneath there and uh, i had to take it off and put the fan belt back on when I was testing it out there last week, as you guys saw me having it outside, uh, the fan belt came off. And I th at first I thought maybe it ripped or maybe it just came off, you know? Because this, uh, this thing right here in front wasn't spinning, right? And that will grab the snow and blow the snow out, right? And so I opened it up and sure enough, she just came off, off of the pulleys, you know? And so what I had to do, was uh, put the belt back on and I tried it again and it came off again so what I had to do is this lever right here is uh, the cable where it activates that uh, thing there in the front to spin right and what was happening is that shaft goes right into where that pulley is with the belt and it actually has a little tiny pulley on it and when I when I press down on here, it actually lifts up the pulley and uh, pushes the belt against the the pulley, and that in essence activates the thing there in the front to spin. And so what was happening is that that thing was too loose, and it actually got a adjustable thing right here where I can adjust it. And so I just made it tighter and everything seems to work good now so hopefully hopefully she will be good to run for the winter but uh, anyways 
that's about all I got probably for today. I hope you found this video to be interesting. So we're going to end it here right now, right about now. And we appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. And uh, if you didn't notice or if you are new to my channel, uh, just keep in mind that my videos are seven days behind. So if you ask me to give you a shout out or, you know, ask me to speak about something, it's very likely that it will be seven days behind, you know, because it's uh, not always possible for me to uh, make it happen right away or like the next day, because I don't always have internet, you know, so that's sometimes uh, a little bit of a challenge. I had a thing here today where somebody emailed me or, or they had actually left a comment yesterday on my videos uh, or on my video like from a week before obviously when you see this video asking me to give him a shout out and uh, sure I'll give you a shout out right well when the video came out this morning they uh, were kind of giving me shit or saying so much for the shout out right well they said in their comment that they watch me every day and I don't think that they actually watch me every day because if you've been watching me for a while and uh, you know that I'm seven days behind and it also usually in my title I also write the date in there when that video was recorded or that's what it is intended to be when you see my title it says trucker Rudy whatever date it is that's the date when it was recorded so uh, if you didn't get it then I guess too bad uh, obviously you didn't watch me for very long yet but uh, uh, anyways I wrote that person back saying that uh, my videos are seven days behind and uh, I would uh, definitely look at their channel and see what they're all about and uh, find out a little bit about them so I could talk about them right or, or give them a shout out right and uh, I said I would appreciate that if they would uh, be patient and uh, not be nasty to me. At least they would be nice to me, right? And the person came back and said, uh, okay, well then be a dick. Well, I'm no dick in my opinion. My last name is Duick, not Dick. <laughs> not Dick, you know? <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Uh, Sometimes it happens out here, you know, maybe a misunderstanding or whatever, but uh, that's just the way it goes. I'm still going to continue recording videos no matter what, so. Anyways, that's about all we got for today. Have a good one, everybody, and be sure to stick around for the next one. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down